I first remember going to see my dad at the back of a little pastry shop he had and sneaking in the back. And I wanted the job in the kitchen, you know, just to make money. So I started working in the back, doing prep work, and as you start understanding, as I started understanding what I was doing, it got to be a lot of fun. It, it hooked me pretty hard. I feel like I've learned from the best chefs in the world. New Orleans legends who have learned from legends. When I say legends, I mean it's New Orleans cooks who have learned from their mama. Having people who come to you and, and put their whole faith in your kitchen or in your restaurant and say, hey, blow me up, cook something that is amazing. Seeing the smile on their face, uh, seeing them coming back and doing other things and asking you for other, it's, that's the satisfaction, yes. It, there's not a whole lot of money when you get started. Uh, you know, you're making minimum wage part of it and then you work it up. But there's a certain thing of when you do something so great that when you walk out to that table, you see those customers and they just are just blown away what you do. That's the, the gratitude you get. Well, there's plenty great events all over town. This is New Orleans, what you're gonna do? You know, that's what we do. But what makes the March of Dimes chef scale a different is this. Not only is it star-studded with the best chefs in the city under one roof, it's gonna be a beautiful time, but behind that beautiful time is a great cause. You know, I'm newly married and we're looking forward to starting a family. It's comforting to know that there's an organization like March of Dimes that'll be there, you know, for me, for so many others, through good times, through bad. You wanna make sure that we're gonna have a, a wonderful, healthy baby. And I love that I can help support that through my dad's recipe, through my grandfather's recipe. I had problems with my son when he was born. He had a, uh, some problems with his eyes. He had a, a umbilical cord, had a knot in it, it was wrapped around his neck if we wouldn't have a C-section. So it, it makes a big difference. It's such a great cause to help uh, women know that they can help themselves as they're pregnant and educate them. It's the camaraderie of all the chefs and everyone in the culinary industry. And just this organization really is taking care of the mamas of the chef. It's taking care of the families and the chefs and their kids. We're serving the food for the first part of it, then when we were drinking some wine with you, and then we're dancing on the floor. The night just goes on, and it goes on into the auctions where you know you get to bid on the different things the chefs are auctioning off. You can definitely enjoy some good food for a good cause and spending a little money so the kids have a little bit more chance. The word restaurant means restore. And you know, when you, these events come around, I feel like you should support them because they're going to a worthy cause. You got the best food, the best wine, the best music. It's the, one of the best events, but you get to have fun and help March of Dimes fulfill their mission. What, what else could it be?